Okay, so now we're recording. Uh, everyone else who's in the chat, hello. Hey. Uh, Hi. Go go ahead and say something, each of you. Just I just want to make sure OBS is working. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Dead awkward silence. Okay. <laughs> yeah, crickets. Yeah. Okay, that worked. I was just trying to make sure OBS was working, and it is, and it's recording. So people are going to hear that nice, awkward silence. Cool. Okay. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe we can just, like, put some more awkward silence randomly in here, then. You know, it's like, <laughs> have, make it, like, like a theme. <laughs> have, have any of you seen Craig Ferguson? Um, no. Nah. No? Okay, <laughs> on his... Uh, TV show uh, on the late late night show. He oh, has okay. yeah. When he has people come in on to chat, at the end of it, he'll do uh, touch my glittery ball or awkward pause at the end <laughs> of it. <laughs> and I think yeah. that's brilliant. I'm um, bad these days. <laughs> I'm bad these days at watching TV. Like I just never watch TV anymore. Yeah, I just watch the stuff that's necessary and screw the rest. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So many submissions. Okay. Uh, you guys can all see my screen, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yay. Cool. Okay. So who wants to go first? Submission. <laughs> so Another awkward pause. All right. I'm just going to guess. Uh, which one's yours, Santa? Uh, I think it's this uh, one over on the yeah. upper right hand side. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. The crazy color one. No, I think that, like, you know, I mean, this, you know, this stuff is for you guys. So, I mean, if you feel like you have questions or, you know, want to talk about something, then I think, you know, you do. If you don't want to, um, that's also, I think, okay as well. So, um, here, can I download this? Yes, I can. Okay. So, and I'll just bring this into Photoshop. Um, oh, you're gonna, you know, you're, you're actually, I'm gonna leave this to you. You're actually gonna do stuff. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm just gonna talk. I like that better. <laughs> it's, I mean, yeah, go, go, go for it. I mean, it, it's your competition. So, like, <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Um, okay, the, the only real thing I can think of for this one. I mean, for, for me personally, um, is I find this light very distracting. Maya goes straight to this one uh, mm. and nothing else really. So personally, I mean, un unless you have another one right here and then maybe something in the back to kind of give it that dimension um, that this is a building. Well, I mean, it obvious it's a building, but yeah. Just to give something a little bit more in the back um, of the same element. Okay. I'd, I'd probably do that. I mean, that that's just me personally. Yeah, um, I was trying to, um, mm. before I had like more lightings and I was trying to like take out some of the dead lights and elements because I started feeling like the scene is getting like busy. And I haven't like detailed the characters yet. Mm. That, yeah, I think okay. like, something, you know, something for me, I think like just that, that depth of bringing the liquor store to the foreground a little bit more and allowing everything else to kind of fall back would be pretty, pretty sweet. I think, um, yeah. I also, I don't know, maybe for me, cause it's like something that, you know, I'm currently kind of into, I, I try to be really careful with like how intense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, so this is, you know, it's almost like kind of like sandstormy, like, you know, kind of vibe, you know, like, yeah. yeah so so these palm trees start to like really, really go back, you know, which, you know, I, that stuff starts to really go back. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I like that a lot, Ian. So, I mean, I think that, you know, also too, I think the sky could be maybe something not as powerful, you know, like it could be in a way a little, a little softer, I guess, you know, not as, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, I think that's like up to everybody, you know, like I go through phases where I like, like really powerful skies and then i go, go through like okay i don't like that much stuff but you know if this was like super sandy in this moment you would start to like not you know see some of that like that sky would be you know pretty not as obvious and i think that would be you know pretty awesome 
th this area, what's really cool is like that's why the windmills are there. It's like it's constantly windy. Oh, so it's like no, it's not like far off from like reality <laughs> i would say it's like yeah. you know pretty there so you know yeah the yeah i agree i mean for for me this totally like i could see this for star trek as a concept piece for star trek i'm a Thank you so much. huge star trek fan i'm uh, kind of struggling with sci-fi stuff so i when i saw this like uh um challenge i was like yes i can challenge myself well it, it totally fits it's weird like i mean i think i like talk about it a little bit in the interview which is like i don't know that i would call like what i do sci-fi i mean i get i guess but it's probably something different for me uh in some way but you know i think that this is a good challenge for that for people that are like wanting to go more sci-fi in direction i think it's a you know a fun challenge for that i like ian i like the idea of like the the framing of the building that you have with the lights. I think that's a good idea. You know, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like copying that light over and then putting it on the four corners, I think can be, you know, pretty cool. It, it would get, you know, obviously dimmer behind, you know, some of the, you know, the darkness there. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll try to make like for sure. Yeah. It's when I look at it, it really didn't make sense to leave just like one lighting. Yeah. 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 Something like that would be like pretty sweet. You know, what's funny is like when I was in this area. Okay, so like I tried to shoot this one twice. You guys probably will see it in the photo pack at some point. Like I think some of the shots have the sign on, and then some of them don't. Mm -hmm. So it was like two, two separate occasions, and I met this like really creepy dude called like who's like he was like tattooed all over his face and everything, and like I kind of didn't believe the guy. So I think he called people like Six Street Joey or something like that, and I was like. <laughs> I was like, whatever, dude, you know, like, shit, am I, like, I don't want to get fucking stabbed. Like, this is gonna... <laughs> and, like, I kind of didn't believe him, and <laughs> then I went home and Googled it, and, like, sure enough, dude, like, he was out there, like, they somebody had done an article on him in the area, and, wow. like, you know, like, the dude had been in prison. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It was like so sketch, and he was he was at one point like, "Hey, do you want me to be in your pictures?" And I was like, "Oh, dude, that was oh god, like, no, thanks, good. thanks, thanks so. though." Wow. He's like, "Well, you know, like if you ever you ever want to know who I am, and like Sixth Street Joey, you could like look me up." <laughs> I'm like, "Thanks, bye." I'm out. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like that. Uh, luckily like my dad was with me on both shoots because it was like super sketch sometimes like i like my dad's just like in the background with, like a bat. <laughs> bad. it's like the worst area dude i'm telling you like Jeez. i i hope i hope at some point you get to visit or move to la and then i'm gonna take you here and you're gonna be like okay can we leave <laughs> like absolutely zero reason to be in this area <laughs> Jeez. I'll, oh, I'll yeah. eventually get out there. Eventually. Sounds like lots of adventures. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess it could be. You know, I mean, it can. It could be adventurous, I suppose. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think like you know, this is you know that kind of direction in this piece is going to be like really cool. In, in my in my opinion, like that kind of uh, you know, sandstorm. You know, kind of push everything back. Let the you know, yeah. really let that hotel kind of or not the hotel the liquor store kind of like stick out a little bit you know i think that'll be good the only other thing that i would do is put like a, a vehicle uh i mean this this is just me personally i'd probably put a vehicle here um with some kind of shape like this just to push the direction over because you have this big empty space here um i had the eye blend in my previous sketches and I was wondering if I can use it. I don't know if it's good to uh, I'll need to like overpaint it a lot. Where is it? I mean I think in my in my first sketches I did like a multiple like versions. Uh oh yeah. And yeah. one like had a like art plan. I mean I think I that, that, <laughs> you, know, awesome. you know for me Ian I think it could be like anything. Like I mean yeah. I I know I know what you're saying like with the vehicle, but I even think like you could have, if you go back to the piece, if you had maybe, you know, one more person, you know, crossing the street in that area, just something like kind of running off the frame, like draw, you know, it's, I mean, it could be, I don't, I don't know that I, 
I, I don't know that I feel like it needs or has, you know, a yeah. ship or anything like that, you know, especially since there's kind of like this, you know, and it makes it's me wonder empty, too, like, yeah. it makes me wonder too, do you take the time in your piece to paint that car out in the, you know, the, yeah. that, yeah, 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 right. You know, because I think some of these pieces, like for me, right, like when I'm doing this work, I like leaving that stuff, but that's part of what I'm doing, right? Like, yeah. so I wouldn't take that out, yeah. but that that's what I'm doing. Like, yours is is somewhere else, some kind of feeling like some other world. So I wonder if, like, getting rid of that car also could be super helpful. And you're just kind of like, I don't know, you have this, like, you know, sandstormy kind of people are walking around, like, uh, yeah. you know, kind of vibe, you know, where it's not, you know, what is, what is like like Mad Max like Thunderdome style kind of oh yeah that would be cool. you know yeah. kind of thing yeah you know maybe it's less about maybe it's less about the uh, the vehicles and maybe yeah. more about just people, the people. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah I think you're right on that yeah let it be more about the people in the area yeah um, yeah I mean, the, the cars could like almost works. go away in a sense and like the people could be you know what it's really about you know like I think yeah. that. Uh, you know, I, there's always this like wanting to make it about like you know spaceships or something like that. But uh, I mean, having really rad characters and people, and you know, yeah. I'm, we call it entourage and architecture, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. But you know, that could be you know if that's a really strong thing and that's in there, then you know uh, that could be really fun too. You know. Okay, I'll need to place more people. Then. And then I think, and then I think it's all about like setting the scale. So something I do for people, you know, is like once you get like one person in there correctly, um, usually what I'll do is drag a ruler line, right? Like I think I showed Ian this before. So yeah. like just from the top. So say you to the top of the head, right? Mm -hmm. So that's going to be the same size of the person all the way in your background too, right? Like so they yeah. stay. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, that's generally how it goes. So they stay that size. Like if you have a person over there walking on the sidewalk, they also start to scale down in into that area, right? So that's probably what a person over there. So like if I drag that person next to that car in relation with that car, that's probably close to what it would be, right? If you look oh, at the okay. so, yeah. so if you look at the size of that car, right, for scale, and Ian like copy that guy out real quick, and then put him next to that car. You know, right? Like that wouldn't be the right scale. That dude's huge. So, but if now if you scale him down relative to that blue line, no, up a little bit more. That's oh my good. god! Thanks so much. Like I'm struggling like crazy with scale sometimes. <laughs> so that now now go down to like maybe uh, yeah, you no, know, up a little, up a little. You know, it'll be like some eyeballing because this guy's a little taller. You know, but if you went like somewhere like that, that that's somewhere in yeah. So like right there. That's kind of, you know, which is, that, oh, that's yeah. a little closer, nice. right? Mm -hmm. Right? So this is, this is a good trick that you can learn. Like that scale is going to be based, yeah. that will be the same going all the time. I actually going to write yeah. this down <laughs> because yeah. like I always have like problems figuring yeah. out all the scale. I tried to yeah, work, like, yeah. learn so, fundamentals. So and, obviously, you know, that changes a little bit with perspective. It also changes a little bit with you know, like who you pick in your scene to be like tall and then who you pick to be short and what that is. But say you set this guy on the left-hand side and, you know, we know, right? We can use some simple things for scale, right? Like if we use the entrance to the the liquor store, mm -hmm. like I, I know from an architectural background, that liquor store entrance is probably like eight to ten feet like normal building size probably because yeah. it's older probably shorter and probably more on the eight foot size so then you can scale people according to that right like you can say okay, okay someone's standing in front of that you know average person height five ten you know um you know i think ten feet's probably going to be a little tall on that ian is probably going to be like eight um yeah. just because or, or eight foot six inches somewhere around there because it's an old building you know, so you guys can, I, I know some of you are in meters and centimeters, so you'll have to translate that, what that is. But if you cut that in half and then start to uh, adjust people based on that, then it will control your whole scene, right? And you won't have any, like, funkiness going yeah. on. Yeah. Okay. I agree, yeah. That, uh, but that rule, like you were showing me before, huge time saver. And yeah, yeah. It, it does a lot. 
Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a huge thing, right? Like, mm-hmm. especially for someone like me that's in architecture and then working with people all the time, mm-hmm. I will point it out right away. It's like the number one thing for me. I'm like, well, that person's too big, mm-hmm. like, or that person's too small, but only because I'm I'm constantly dealing with like architectural elements, right? So if I see a door that I know is probably eight feet tall, and someone's as tall as that door, I'm like, oh shit, that's out of scale. Like, exactly. Yeah. No. But this also works for anybody in the foreground, right? So if you move somebody to the foreground, use that same blue line, they would be properly in scale as well. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, it holds true, like all the way forward and back for the most part. So, so if um, look at this guy. Yeah, so you cut that guy, and he's walking in the middle of the street, say, you know, move him. You know, not there, but in the middle of the foreground street. Oh, okay. By the stop sign or something. Uh... Was a stop sign, like in the front, like just the stop sign, like in the front of the image, like right in the middle. Yeah. Like right okay. In the middle oh, of the road. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So bring him out on the street. Like okay. if you bring it, yeah, and you start scaling him up, right? And put him back there. You'll have to scale him back down. Like you put him right on top of the street sign or something, something like that. Whatever. What? It, yeah. Now bring him up taller. Yeah, something like that. You know, it, it might be a little short, but that person also now is closer to in scale, moving towards the camera. So, yeah, good little good little trick you can use. It's helpful. It is. It's awesome. I mean, you, you know, there's always something in the scene. Usually, when you're working with a backplate that you can base something on. So for me, yeah, it's the doorway, or you know, I would the next thing after that would be those cars on the right hand side. You know, I could probably quickly look up like, I don't know. It looks like it's like some Toyota forerunner or something. I could probably look up the size of that and figure out the height and then take a person from there. Um, but you know, I mean, you could go outside and stand next to a car or a truck or something and see how tall you are and then start guessing from that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think that that'll be, that'll really help this image and really help you place the rest of the people in there. And then I think it could be super rad. Yeah. I agree. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I mean, you can even like start to like, you know, I mean, I do this too. Like, I mean, if we're talking about removing the real cars from this, maybe it's not doing it any justice. Then like, you know, what do we do on that right hand side where you still have real cars in the parking lot? I mean, you could start to like place, you know, objects there or, you know, crowds of people or, you know, like whatever, but you can start to like cover that stuff out. You know, I do that too. I just yeah. block it. Yeah. Oh, to, to well, push then whatever's left, I guess you can like just, uh, you know, fix the plate over that. Yeah. Just yeah. to show that vastness. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So, or if you'd like to start hiding it behind dust and crap and. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> fog, 90%. Just yeah, uh, fog, 100% in that area. Fog area. Yep. Perfect. Area. This is why you go into action. Because that, that happened in Blade Runner. There was a, it made the news. There was oh, yeah. a 3D modeler who spent like seven, eight months modeling things. And it all got covered up by fog and motion. Oh, like, that you literally could not see anything. Well, that's the way it goes. Yeah. Um, you know. I mean, he know he's in the profession. It's not like he. I mean, he knows that's gonna happen. It's not like it's not like he doesn't get to see the same. He worked on a movie and stuff. I mean, exactly. But um, but overall, yeah, I, I think this looks really good. Just keep playing with the light, play with more fog, play with the scale of things. Yeah, um, I think this has to go like really like you know, I could see this going really, just because I know the area, I could see it going really, um, damn it, you know, Mad Max, Thunderdome, you know, maybe not even like, maybe not even like the new one, like the old, like the old one, you know, like the 80s Mad Max. Like those were, those were way better, I think. They are, yeah. And then you can put like dust in the foreground. Yeah, yeah, like the Tina Turner one, you know. (laughs) Those ones. Yeah. Maybe the original was like the best, but you know, I don't know. I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would work. And then, yeah, put some uh, dust in the foreground to push the depth, and you're good to go. 
Yeah, I think like maybe too. Also, like I might. I don't know. I don't know how. I I, I think you'd have to try. I might crop a little of the street out, make it a little bit narrower, only because there's not so much going on there. So, I, no, no, on that side, on the bottom. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe play with it because I do like those cracks. But I guess when when you when when you do that, it brings your focal point right. Like, so it brings your focal point up to almost eye level with those people. Like that that first grid line which is pretty nice instead of having it at there like if you take it back down to the original spot on the plate right it's like at their hip yeah okay like yeah. i extended the plate a little bit on the left side maybe yeah, that's yeah. yeah i think maybe like something like that and if like you know the guy on the you know then the then the interest is in the middle almost you know so this is like really yeah. something too like it begs for something going on at that doorway maybe more than like just her walking in you know i don't know what that is but yeah um you know like that doorway is right in the middle of the image so it really says like okay like this is the spot like so what's going on there yeah they can help, help frame the story you know okay yeah, I think uh, can I have a question this. about this one? Yeah. Because I'm just wondering, because both of those buildings, the one on the left and the one on the right, you can kind of see that this is the same kind of building. And the one on the left is quite big, and the one on the right is smaller, doesn't it? Like, uh, shouldn't it be more similar to each other? Because for me, it's, it's, it looks like, you know, those are very similar buildings, so they should have this a similar size, maybe. Yeah, I of mean, course I, in scale, but in in you know what I mean. Like, it, it, it's tough because like I know the site, so yeah, it would probably technically be go down a little bit, Ian. Go down. I think it makes it too busy when it's it was. I tried scaling it like literally small. I tried to scaling it bigger, and I started yeah. like cutting like off like some piece of building because it was making the whole sky like way too busy you know there's like all these signs there's like two big buildings there's liquor store like people there's a palm trees <laughs> well like but, but, but maybe like you don't like need that one either i don't know or maybe you only need that one and not the one behind i mean i would experiment with that like i think it's probably you know because i know the site and know approximately where that would be which would be like on the other side of the railroad tracks there like I, it's probably pretty close to scale Maybe it could be a little bigger, but maybe you don't need it. I I, I don't know. Like I would I would check into that, or maybe it gets smaller and pushed way 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 back, like back. Yeah. You know, like you take it smaller and like it goes, you know, even further back, almost to where like if on this left hand side of the image, yeah yeah yeah. So that would be almost there's a bridge out there that it, it's almost like a land bridge. And that would be like on the other side of that, like out by the almost getting out by the windmills at this point. But maybe it's something like that. And and you this area, you allow it to be kind of like desolate train yard, what it is. You know, I don't know that you know I think that like, would actually work making it smaller. I can I can uh feel the scale a lot more, the depth. Yeah, yeah, I think also too, like I, I, for me, like there's nothing wrong with like i mean yeah. i call it like letting the image breathe like i don't think there's anything wrong with like just letting it breathe like just give yourself some some room like just to like and give the eye like a moment to like just take a break you know so like i think it wouldn't be bad like i you know yeah. might be a good thing yeah and then yeah have your palm trees and I think you saw I, mean, I, go, I go both ways in my work. Like I think there's moments where it's like I want something like really close and you know it's feeling you know whenever you have that stuff like really close like that it has like you know a foreboding sense, you know it feels a little bit heavier and the scene feels heavier. But I think that this could be quite nice having one that's like quite close to the camera and then they really start to spread out and, yeah. and kind of get in room. And I think it helps with like their general size, right? Like those things are really massive in the first place. So giving them some space might be okay. Yeah, I agree. And then the only thing I would probably also do is just intensify some okay, of these. I, I kind of like I mean, the cocktails and dream sign. That's not really there, right? Is this like a, 
this is cocktails and dreams. Isn't that like a, uh, is that really there on the plate? No, I, it was like a hologram. Yeah, no, no, no. It's really funny. Like it's making me think of like that movie. Like what, what, what is that movie? Cocktail with, uh, with, uh, Tom Cruise. Is not the bar named like cocktails and dreams or something like that? I don't, I don't know. know. I think it is. is it in like, Mos- Mission like, Impossible or? No, no, no. The, the movie Cocktail, dude, with, with, you don't know that movie? Come on. No. Like, <laughs> classic, look 80s, this up. classic 80s movie, dude. Like, just look up Cocktail with, like, uh, Tom Cruise. But I, I swear it's, like, Cocktails and Dreams or something like that is the name oh, of it. Oh, yeah. Movie. It's very, very similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I've never cool. seen it. I'm going to have to watch that. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, you don't watch this movie and think that it's like, you know, this this thing in any Academy Awards, but it's like, it's like yeah. classic 80s movie. It's so great. Wow. Nice. I, I know what I'm watching this weekend. Yeah. 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 I'm like a ton of pings on the Discord channel being like, dude, what, what kind of movies are you watching? Like, it's like old Tom Cruise movie, but it's like I saw that. I was like, oh, this is awesome. The... Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then I think you could like maybe work with like you know, I don't know, depth of field stuff like that. Obviously, you know, yeah. start making some stuff go away. I I think it'll be super important what goes on at that liquor store, the entrance right there. Kind of interested to see what you could maybe come up with. Yeah, I don't have any ideas. I don't. I don't. I will need to figure something out. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to like think about it. I mean, for me, it always helps to have like a, you know, something going on. But that's like me. The yeah, I just put in some kind of lights. Uh, I mean, yeah, even I if you that. just take a curve, literally with no adjustment, put it on screen, it does every, it does it for you. It just lightens it up. Yeah, and I think you're lucky too because I think this backplate in particular, like there, I think. There's... I think there's another version of this backplate that they may or may not have provided where there's lights on the inside. So you could work with a couple different backplates, I think, for this image and, and bring some of that stuff back. Yeah. But yeah, Ian's doing that right. I mean, that's how I would do it. Yeah, but do it with a curve and if you want, and it should work and it'll lighten it up. And then like, if you want this nice bloom effect, that's really cheesy to do, but it works. <laughs> Um, I always love do- playing with blooms, um, but yeah, that, I think I think that works. Yeah, I think that would work really well. Yeah, it's super cool. Um, would you like me to save this out and send it to you, Santa? Oh yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna name it. Give me. Lots of Christmas presents. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Just a gentle reminder. <laughs> yes. I don't want to imagine what's going to happen during the like on December on Discord. Oh. Right. I hope that's going to give me a hard time. But besides that, I really enjoyed seeing the different iterations of this. I think that was really cool to see. Um, it Seeing this work and seeing some of the concept work from uh, Star Trek, this would fit in perfectly um, for different I- ideas. Because uh, when I'm thinking of this, I'm thinking of um, Star Trek. Uh, when he goes to the bar. Yeah. In the um, of, yeah. Yeah. This totally makes me think of this place and what's inside of it. Um, yeah. But anywho. Cool. That's awesome. Thank you so much for feedback. Yeah. yeah it's great. All right. Super. Who else we got? Oh, me. next. Test up. Who's Wait, who's, who said me? Victoria? Me, Victoria. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're having the, the dark problem. It's okay. I also have this issue because I work yeah, on I have... I work on a Mac. 
screen, so Ian's always trying to yell at me about something. But then I send it to Conrad, and Conrad's like, it looks fine to me. I'm like, okay, then it's a go. So I don't know. You know? Yeah, I checked it on three screens, and each one is different, so I have no yeah. idea. Yeah, no, I, got, I have the same issue, too. Me and Ian spent, like, two hours one day trying to find out where the issue was. And I don't think we ever found it. And then he was like, did you get it fixed? I was like, well, fixed is in. It looked okay on my iPhone, and I sent it to Conrad, and he said it looked good, too, so it's fixed. Good <laughs> Okay. Well, luckily, my mom's got this really nice screen that's perfectly, everything is set up there perfectly, so I trust that screen. So I think it's good now. It's good. It, it does look a lot better. It looks a lot more lighter and much more realistic. Yeah. So this one, I really, I, I really like in the sense that like it feels so bleak <laughs> and sad. <laughs> you know, yeah, that was the point. <laughs> yeah, it feels bad in that area. So like I gotta say, like I mean, I, I I like see so many people are like turning on lights and all this stuff. I really almost like that this one doesn't have that. Like maybe. I think you could even dial that up a little bit more. Like maybe the rest of the plate gets a little darker and you're standing under like a flood lamp, like street light would be pretty like right there. You're already doing it, which I think would be cool. And then I like how you're almost creating this. I think I said it to you in the chat today. You're almost creating this like wall of, of like stuff with that stuff on the right hand side. Um, yeah, because you know, I kind of want to make it look like those people who work there, they actually live here and they are surrounded by all of that. Yeah, I know. It almost feels like, I mean, I hate to say this, but it almost feels like some kind of like Trump, like Trump wall where like people are like imprisoned on the other side of it. No, I mean, it's really kind yeah. of bad, but but like cool at the same time. Yeah. So it's like, you know, maybe maybe you could even play that up more. You know, I don't know exactly how because there comes a point where like maybe too many elements. But, you know, I could see some off in the distance. I know those those windmills technically are not there, I don't think. In that. Are they? I don't know. I don't remember. They are there. Yeah. I just cut them out. Uh, okay, 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 okay. That yeah. took me ages. I thought I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, had, they had the yeah. same color at the background. Yeah, that most definitely sucks. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I think... Should you, be. <laughs> yeah, I think you could use, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you could use some of these maybe in there a little bit more, yeah. you know, kind of uh, placed around um, differently, yeah. like rotated and... Just like what Ian's doing now, like that. And then I think maybe, you know, you could darken up, you know, the foreground, maybe even the sky a little bit. Yeah, unfortunately, some of these, like, it, it, these plates are like, you know, they're challenging plates in the sense that, like, you know, the sky is, you know, you have all these wires and everything. But I think if you took the time to, you know, separate or, or have a different sky in there, it could really help oh yeah and you know i was joking but i actually chose this one because oh. it was hard and i just decided okay i really it's have super. always a lot of problems with masking stuff so i'm gonna do it <laughs> one of those like times where it's like i mean i i always had like a friend well i mean we're still really good friends we like to joke around that like there's always these tasks where like you just go buy like a bag of m ms and like you know get a soda and like just zone out and like mass stuff out and like you're just gonna have to not think about it like it's like one of those yeah. monotonous 3d tasks at the same time you know yeah like here i even all those wires i i just, just painted second. them back yeah yeah it was impossible to cut them i just painted them yeah yeah, yeah. um so I think that's looking pretty good. The dog, I like the dog. I, I wish he was standing probably if you're going to do the street lamp thing. Maybe he's a dog, right? That's a dog? Yeah, yeah, the, the, those are yeah, dogs, yeah. Yeah, so maybe if that dog is standing like right underneath the street light, I kind of like that it's like the only thing there. Mm -hmm. You know, just like some random wild dog. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Like I think it's... Yeah, get... there are also dog in the, dogs in the background, but just yeah, so there... it would not be all weird that there's a dog. And I don't know. I just don't like when there's something odd in the in the work. Trust me, it is not random that there's dogs in this area. That's for sure. <laughs> there were plenty of random pets roaming around during the adventures. Um, no, I just mean like it might be cool to move him underneath the street lamp. That could be like, uh -huh. I think, you know, like it's, you know, if it's the only okay. thing there. And then maybe, I don't know, depending on the size of the dog, it might be a little big, uh, but it depends on the dog, too. I mean, it could be, like, Great Dane, then it would be not big. 
that would be okay, I can make it smaller. <laughs> then it would be like on scale. What is? If I actually put it under the this lamp, it's gonna be maybe the right size. Yeah, yeah. If you put it underneath that lamp, it would be the right size. Yeah, it's actually a pretty big, big, big dog. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that looks like a pit bull, so it looks like the kind of dogs for sure that are out there anyway. And I like these other set of dogs, too. <laughs> but if he's, like, if he's like the only thing under, yeah, that's probably like the correct size for that dog now. Yep, you're right. Yep. Yeah. I like that. Um... Yeah, I think this is coming along pretty good. I mean, I think that this one also too, like this looks like the original like size of the back plate, which is like, what is it? Six, I think I shot all like 16 by nine aspect ratio. I don't know. I always like to crop some stuff. I think it could get maybe cropped a little bit here and there. Um, I actually cropped this one because it was way uh, okay. bigger. I, I do really like the cracks in the ground, so I'd be like, I, I wouldn't want to take out too much of that stuff. I like that stuff. Cool. Okay. Yeah, maybe if it just, yeah, maybe come up a little bit on the ground, Ian, just like a tad, too. I don't know, somewhere in there. It'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm, I'm just thinking of the, the four corners. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to, like, you know, that, that, you know, like some something, you know, that's dragging my eye someplace. Um, yeah, the, the composition here, I it didn't do uh, anything interesting. You could line no, I it up. I, I think you could line you still, that line on the ground right with the middle right there. Yeah, I think you still it. could, though. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I think you still could. Yeah, I mean, it's not like it's annoying or anything, but it's kind of boring. Hmm. I don't know. I think but, it looks yeah. nice. It's like a simple, like realistic, more like sci-fi. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah but... for me, it doesn't like it doesn't like I don't look at it and it have like a huge bother to it. To be honest with you, like I, there's something quite nice about the emptiness of the foreground that I find really attractive. Yeah, I I, I would I, agree. It pushes your eye backwards. I I think. Yeah, because I added that light there without this red light. No, 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 in the front, in the back, yeah, yeah, yeah. the foreground. Yeah. No, yeah. the closer one, this one, yeah. Without that, it would, it, it looked really, really weird, so I put it there, so, yeah. I like this a lot. It, I, I like, I mean, it feels very sad, mm. and I like that, too. Mm. Like, that's, that's what I would say. Like, if I, if I could say anything about this image, is it feels very sad, and if I could continue to push it, everything that I would do, like, color-wise, everything would be, to make the image feel more sad, like anything I did. So I really like the cool tones, you know, mixed with the red. I, I think that's nice. I think you could even push it, you know, darken that stuff up. Have you know, I, for me, it feels like somebody is standing under the street lamp. Yeah. And so I think, I think that composition doesn't bother me. I would just, I want, you know, I just want to push it to feel even sadder and in a way more depressing. Okay. The for that's awful, right? <laughs> but I, it's like good too. And that was the point, actually. All my works are sad. Yeah. <laughs> I just like those those colors. I never like the the high five. I like sad works as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you guys look at like ninety percent of my work, it always falls into like some blue or teal or you know, like I do very few kind of like uh golden kind of images there's there's not really that many that i do i i like cool images a lot and so um i i like this a lot and i think it feels very you know the stuff all around it feels very oppressive to the neighborhood yeah and so i i, I just want to play that up more so like however you can do that i would do that okay i'll try to do that okay. but i i think the composition works put something in here because you have the way the elements are, um, if you put this in here, it's pointing all that way. I mean, even with the trees, it's going this way. And mm -hmm. the wires, everything's pushing in this way. I mean, even from the tree to this, everything's coming in. And I like that the roads is pushing, breaking your eye uh, of, of looking here, but it works because you're 
you already seen his fastness, it gets to the dog, and then it shoots that way. And I think that's very clever. Um, yeah, because at first I was just thinking, okay, I have to put something closer, but then I thought yeah. that maybe I could focus the eye on the background, not on the foreground. But yeah, I, I think there's nothing in the foreground. What, I think you can, uh, I mean, yeah. I, 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 I'm not even, I think you could leave the whatever, the ship, whatever, I don't, I don't care what you call it at this point on the on the right hand side but i think all this stuff also could start to to be more background and and that stuff is you know maybe toned down even a little more i don't know i don't know i think it's i think that suggestion is really powerful ian like it's it's all going to be about the background and then your foreground just becomes like this really kind of dark and you know yeah i think it's one of those images too that like having it a bit undersaturated quite a bit is going to be quite nice yeah. you know like it, it adds to that blue. like like yeah. dreary sadness like image yeah. i think that it's the it's the blue in the sky uh, yeah the sky is very saturated yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah mainly in the cyans yeah um and it should work but um I mean, o overall, I love it. I think it's good. Good. Glad you like it. Yeah, I think it's cool too. Super cool. It was too. supposed to be kind of like Interstellar. That's a quite similar mood, I think. Sad <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, poor. Interstellar is yeah. I mean, it's it's a weird it's a weird movie. I mean, it's one of my favorite movies. I mean, Nolan's one of my. Yeah, mine too. Movies. I mean, it's a weird in that sense too. Is like it's it's a sad like all the shots seem very sad. You know, like even even when they're bright, they're sad. Uh, and I find that yeah. really interesting. Um, yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. Super okay, cool. Thinking, Thank you. Maybe yep. um, in composition, maybe added like one person standing in the middle street. That's just like an idea. Yeah, I know. Mean, like, like weird, you know, like something like dark, and he's just like standing on a street, like some like random person. Yeah. I mean, I think we yeah. definitely, you definitely could try something like that. I mean, I, I would be, you know, I I don't know. Me personally, I'd probably maybe be a little cautious of it, you know. But you could try. I I I'm not sure. It's one of those things that like it's bothering me not having it there. Yeah. Um, yeah. For me, I'm just it gonna go through all options and see what looks yeah. good. Yeah. Um, mm. the only, I mean, if I was to add a person, I would probably add it on the left here. Um, just because of the eye line to, to push it that way. Um, but I very much do like, like this feels, we're at eye level. So I feel like we're looking through the person's eyes instead of a camera instead. Yeah. That that's what I was thinking too. And I'm also wondering too, like, you know, is it more, you know, like, is it like, uh, if you're going to do a person, is it like, uh, I don't know, do you go like ET kind of vibe and it's like, uh, you know, some kid with a basket, I don't know, like something like quite normal, but it feels very abnormal in this situation, you know, like not, not, I would say like kids or something. Well, I mean, yeah, I, mean, I don't know that there's any, like, you know, the image already has, like, a heaviness to it. So, like, if you put some, like, dude there that looks like he's going to kill the next guy that walks by, it's, like, kind of maybe not so interesting. It's, like, yeah, that's kind of a, a given in this situation, per se. But if it's, like, a kid playing, like, or playing with a basketball or, like, walking, then it becomes maybe a little bit more interesting, I think. You know, it's yeah. kind of, like, a little heavier in that sense, like, and kind of maybe equally as sad. Yeah. Um I think it'd be cool. I think you would just have to play with it, see if it works with the scene. It, yeah, exactly. I was kind of thinking of of adding some workers with those orange uh, vests because mm -hmm. that orange would look quite nice. I think there. I even have like tiny ones in there in the background, but they are not visible uh, like this. Wait, where where and, are they? they uh, if you zoom in, like right uh, there, yeah, closer, 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 closer. They are there uh, in the left. Uh, like uh, tiny people. <laughs> those people are probably too big. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> it's, it's, but I could, I could make them even smaller than that. It's probably going to be a one, one that, pixel. 
Yeah, at that scale, probably a pixel, probably like yeah, that. Yeah, tiny people. They are just for me. <laughs> I think you could. But I could. I, you could do something like that. I mean, I, I mean, play with it. See, see what it is. I mean, there, there's something interesting about like that. The neighborhood would have some like, uh, you know, right? Like, there's still going to be some normalcy to the neighborhood, right? Like, people would still be living their lives here. So, what is what does that look like? Um, on top of that, yeah. it's like a sad, maybe a sad life. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a also a morning, life. so it's not like there's gonna be a lot of people there. Yeah, yeah, because it's a very early early morning, so everybody's sleeping. Exactly, except for the dogs and what's except going on. Except for the dogs, yeah. yeah. The dogs are always, hungry. You know, they're always out, always out. Yeah. <laughs> the I really like the, the light back here. That really breaks it up the dimension. I like that. I isn't the, isn't the, the roof too you bright? Might, from yeah, the light? I yeah. That, I don't think you would get that much spill onto that roof. It, it would be a little far away to get that. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think it'll be important, like how you can do that in some other areas too. Like, you know, um, just have those same kind of lights to, you know, separate the background, maybe down in between there and where Ian is right now and stuff like that behind the trees, you know, like how do you have that other, you know, if this area is all like, if you think about it as like, if you look at like super industrial areas, they're always like lit up like quite a bit. So, um, all right. Yeah. So I, I think of like, uh, you know, if you look at like, a that's a good one, like almost like an oil, like, like an oil refinery plant. Like those are like really interesting ones. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, Ian. Can you Google search that real quick? Like oil refinery, like plant. And like maybe just type night or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like these things always have like this. Like they're quite like industrial and have like quite a bit of lights going on in them. So I think like. How might you play that up in in your image? Not not completely, maybe not to this this yeah. intensity. Um, but but this yeah, but I get it. It's like a yeah yeah yeah. We have yeah. buildings like this, so they all should yeah, be lit, yeah. and the sky yeah. should be lit yeah, yeah. from that too. The thing is, is like those thing those lights are always on, whether it's like you know whether you're working at it or not. Like they're they're part of it is security and a bunch of other things. And so I think that would really be cool then to have like this neighborhood that almost is like completely no lights and dark, you know, yeah. that's quite mm -hmm. nice. Sounds sad. Yeah, I know. But yeah, I, I agree. I think that would be kind of cool. Interesting. And it, yeah, it definitely pushes something in the background. Right? Like, I think you'll get something from it. Yeah. Yeah. We just put light yeah. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. Just full Close. blast, boom. Just <laughs> that, <laughs> done. Um, that's so good. I like this piece a lot. Thank you. Coming out really cool. Um, the only thing, and this is just me being very unbelievably nitpicky, is bulbs. I would, yeah, light bulbs. <laughs> Literally, I, I pixel paint so much. And I know Jimmy's like, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I think that, like, you know, it's probably, like, you know, probably a good idea just to add that, like, little sense of, like, you know, you would have that little bright spot. Yeah. Just something incredibly tiny. I mean, this is what made that area so weird and kind of really fun is, like, literally, you have a neighborhood, and then on the other side of that street of this neighborhood, you have, like, a hotel. And that's like so strange. It's like just super weird. Yeah. I would be scared to stay in that hotel. Yeah, I would stay at that hotel. That's a no. I mean, what does the sign even say? Does it say like "Don't come here"? Oh, <laughs> uh, Was that sign really there? Yeah. I don't even remember that. Vote. Yeah, because it was darker and because of that bright area uh, behind it, it, you can see it now. What is it's like, like, I don't even know what those things are. It's like vote no on D. I mean, they're they're definitely a proposition. So, D like, and no, no on E. 
Yeah, what does that even mean? I don't know. I don't know what those are. They're they're gonna be like ballot propositions or something. Or some measure some measure for the area, but I don't know what that would be. I mean you unless you take the idea of this and do um they did it on in the movie on District Nine where they went and they marked on houses like put like the letter D or E on some of these or something like graffiti or spray paint. Um, oh, that would be creepy. Yeah, just to, or something, I don't know. Um, yeah. yeah, that could be kind of cool, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty nice, actually. Just to tie in the story element and that creepiness, if you want. Um, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I like I mean, that idea. Get like a, something like this, and let's grab Ooh. that color. This is just me being artsy fartsy. Uh, oh, it's not soft light. D. Dude, I'm trying to even see like when that was. Oh, okay, okay. So in Kern County, yeah. Well, where this is, so that is uh, measure D is medical marijuana and dispensary business tax tax initiative. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Is it D and E? Yeah. Okay, so E is medical marijuana retail permit. So, okay, so obviously you guys know that, like, marijuana is now legal in the state of California. But uh, that is dependent on each, each, each area. Each county has their own rules on it. And some areas absolutely do not want it at all. Like, they, they, they think it's really bad. They don't want it. They... They don't want businesses around it or anything because of what it what they think it could bring to the area. So that's what those two props are. They're around marijuana. Not that that matters, but uh, I, I do like the idea of the graffiti. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, yeah I like that too. I'll try to do something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be cool. Just tie it in with something, yeah. Hmm. Outside of that, yeah. Awesome. I love it. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited Thank to see you. Thank you. Uh, Dylan Cole would be proud, I think, because it, <laughs> it looks it looks very realistic. It's uh, I mean, for me personally, this is very much my style. Um, so I mean, that that's just me, but I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot too. It's cool. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, do you want me to save this or? No, I think I get everything. Okay. Okay, and then who else do we got? I don't know if we, I don't know if we have any other live people. Maybe we could just go. No, but nobody else is here. No, no one likes like us. What, what is that? Thanks for the But Ian support. is recording it, right? So. Yeah, thanks for the moral support, y'all. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, maybe we could just say a few things about the challenge, Oops. like each each entry in the challenge. I don't think we should yeah. do as long, you know, because um, they're not here. But maybe we could just a few things. Uh, which one's this one? Oh, so the chase. Yeah. Whoops. There we go. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Interesting. Truck stop and it sees. Oh, that's cool. All right. Interesting. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think, mm -hmm. I think for me, this is, you know, the hardest thing is going to be getting the elements situated in there in a good, a good way. But yeah. I, I, uh, and right, like so. Hmm, it, I think you know one thing is is like this. This station is like completely deserted. So how do you, in some way, bring it back to feeling like it's not? You know, so yeah, you have to like this piece would have to work on that a little bit more to yeah. bring that back. You know. Um, yeah, I I think what would help is having some people at like the pumps or something. Yeah, right. Like, so it almost feels like a pit stop, you know, like these things are like pit stopping here. Like he's calling it the chase. So, you know, is it like, I don't know, is it a race? Is it a pit stop? Is it, is it something like that? So, um, you know, I think building on that would go, you know, pretty far. Yeah. That, that's a motion blur to the ships and some exhaust coming out of them and such. And I think you, you've got an interesting piece. And I yeah. like that yeah. uh, this breaks the the light of everything yeah yeah, yeah. Um, i think that helps 
and with some people in here i mean maybe even like open up these garages with the same vehicles inside of it or something yeah that would be cool too i mean i think it, that's what that's what i mean i think you have to take it this has to kind of transform from a like forgotten abandoned truck stop to like yeah. a place actually doing something yeah exactly it's a little bit of work right but it, i think it is, it, yeah. i think it could be really cool and maybe put like a sign up here of like hotel for the truck stops or whatever mm-hmm. um, and you're good to go uh, i used to uh for i don't know if this is appropriate but i'll say it anyways is uh i used to work at walmart in minnesota and one of the ladies who worked here her husband they got a divorce because her husband was a truck driver and they go to pit stops like these and there's always prostitutes oh so, yeah no, no. Yeah. 100%, yeah so like Actually, Actually, I like the image that I'm currently working on using this pla- backplate is like, dude, I went back and forth on like, should that be the theme? Yeah. <laughs> and my wife was like, dude, are you serious? I was like, mm. she's like, maybe, maybe don't do that this round. <laughs> I mean, uh, for, for me, I would say do it because you. It, it's a reality though. Like, yeah. for, and especially in the United States, it's, a, it's, it's for sure a reality at any yeah. truck stop. That is, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's why the, because I also didn't know this, that those trucks, with how big they are, they have their own compartment bedroom in the back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, some of them, some of them have like king beds. You know, yeah. like I'm not talking in terms of like prostitution right now, but like some of them are like, they're, they're big. Like, dude, they, like, they have full on like, beds in the background and stuff like that like refrigerators and everything i don't even know what you would call it like the inside of these trucks yeah yeah the cab, the cab. it's like yeah. the rear cab yeah they have like beds dude. like yeah. some of them they basically like, live there right yeah yeah like some of them are like king beds too like yeah. go to go up, go up like that one would be like a king bed dude yeah they're big yeah, yeah. it's like you know bridge and everything yeah they're yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I never knew that. I thought it was interesting. Like, wow, they 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 live back there, especially if they have to drive from, let's say, Canada all the way down to Florida or whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah. They'll they'll drive that entire time and stay in the back, and then they don't have to pay for a hotel or whatever. Yeah, um, usually, you, you know, usually most of those guys are, you know, look up like yeah. Flying J. Yeah, yeah, look like Flying J truck stop or something like that. You'll, you'll see them like all parked like if you, yeah they're just like all parked yeah. they, they just line up and they're parked outside yeah, yeah. You, you, you yeah you see them on highways all the time as well just trucks lined up i never knew why until i met this person she's like yeah i got a divorce why <laughs> my husband cheated on me with who a prostitute at a gas station yeah, look oh, at okay. this image right here. <laughs> like that keep going up like this one right here is like oh, all yeah Yep. It's it's amazing. Different kind of life, I guess. But it's interesting though. All these people live there. Um but yeah, you could you could do kind of a lineup of some of these vehicles or something in the background or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well let's look at the next one. Okay. Like, uh, I mean you should go through these pretty fast. Oh, this was like this is like one of the first ones. Like I don't know if they've not been working. It'll be see. I mean, a lot of people have entered this, so it'll be interesting to see. Oh, this, this is one, a very Toy Story. Yeah, like it was super interesting in the sense that like this kind of is what goes on in the area. So it was it was interesting to see like what what they were doing in this piece. So I, I yeah, I mean, I don't have like a a ton of comments outside of like i mean it'd be good to see where they take it and you know go with it i think they were doing like, i think they were doing 3d work so yeah the uh, i'm trying to think of what is it uh in toy story where they go uh and that's where they find the little green martians and it's like some pizza yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pizza planet yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That has a right it totally does. <laughs> yeah. It, it's Which the color palette. Possible. Yeah, Jimmy? Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, I just think it's, I, I think it's interesting. I think, you know, 
I mean, they were actually like remodeling the hotel. So good for that person. I hope they, I hope they keep it up. <laughs> That's impressive. Wow. I'm all, I'd probably be way too lazy to do that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Probably right. not going to happen. I haven't seen this one. It's going to open these in tabs. Uh, okay. So we did that one. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've not seen wow. this. It's pretty insane. Dang. I think about the TV show. What's the name? Snowpiercer. Uh, people like, yeah. yeah. Snowpiercer. I still got to yeah. see that. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's using that train shot. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, this totally looks like the, the train from back to the future where uh, he has <laughs> a time machine into a train. Yeah, yeah, like Back to the Future, like... Uh, it's the third one, I think. Yeah, it's like the Western one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they get to the train tracks, and it's stopping. They're like, there's no train. Um, oh, that the train totally looks like it. I love it. Yeah, um, I think it'd be cool to, like, you know, it's all fairly dark right now, so I think, like, having some lights on in the train and... Yeah. You know, I mean, this doesn't look like a derelict train, you know, so I think, like, giving some life to that train would be pretty sweet. But, you know, also, too, like, how, I don't know, like, how do you make a... Yeah, it's cool. The, it's all... the only thing I might add to this, I mean, it, yeah, add, add lights onto it, or maybe some people trying to, like, hop on or whatever. Or... Yeah, it's funny, like, you know, I don't know what you do with this kind of, like, train in this area. When I was shooting this area, it was like, I, I, I don't know what you do with this per se, because it's like super illegal to get on anything right here. You're like, basically, you would be jumping the track to get in there. It's not really like any place trains stop. If they're stopped, it's for like, you know, cargo reasons or something else. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the concept of the piece is. So, you know, or how that plays in. But, but I like it. It's cool. It's cool piece. Okay. Next. Very this one had, I like it. Yeah, this one had like a total like uh what is that movie? You already mentioned it, Ian. What was that movie? Spider-Verse um, or Star Trek or No, um dude, what am I, No, what like what am I forgetting? No, I totally forget. It's not one that was like that sci-fi movie that was like based in like South Africa. What is that? Oh, what District that Nine. District Nine, yeah, it has like a District Nine kind of vibe going on. It it does. I like the depth in here, even the sign being flipped and back here. Yeah, um, that that helps a lot. Um, I'm I I feel like there's something missing right here because I I feel like I have two scenes going on. Like this person's looking this yeah, way, yeah. but then the arrows here are pointing this way. So um, I'm conflicted. So unless yeah, the arrows point the other way, um, that might help it. Yeah, I wonder for me, like, you know, I probably would maybe, you know, f in me personally, I'd probably clean the back plate altogether of mid-ground stuff and not have anything on that left-hand side. Yeah. Like, those houses, I don't think are doing anything. It's, like, it's completely foreign now to this in a way, like, not in a good way, you know? And I would just focus with, like, you know, this super kind of, like, out abandoned yeah. gas station and then this kind of super weird city that's popping up into this like desert background kind of situation, I think could be pretty cool. And that's that city can creep to the left-hand side, maybe a little bit, but yeah. you know, you know, your, your eye already goes to the guy with the bike. And so, you know, I think just anything to the left right now is just distracting to me. So I yeah. would probably just, I would just kill it. Like, yep. like just have it be empty desert. It's okay. I mean, there could be a few things out there. Maybe there's like, couple of little like scattered like not really towers but like kind of like whatever an electrical tower for this place would look like and then the focus is really just this guy and the city that's coming in to uh view on the back side I'm, I'm curious to what this is this is not on the plate is it this oh no i don't know what that is but it's it's cool i don't know what yeah. it is but it's cool. that is it's like some addition like they took it like next level yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like this really weird um, style here. Like I don't even know. Like the style here is also somewhat interesting to me. Like I think they're. I don't know when this is done or whatnot, but 
it has like this really kind of like odd like digital like uh pixel digital style which yeah. is you know could be interesting it looks like wally yeah. Wally? Yeah. 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 wally yeah a little bit yeah like maybe like mean wally because that guy looks like he's holding <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looks like an axe or something. I don't know. Like, it's this like kind of looks like Wally. Just yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Wally's too happy and too cute. Well, I don't know if he's happy per se, but he's really cute. So yeah, I love that movie. Yeah, me it's too. A, such a good movie. It is. Yeah, I mean, this one's pretty pretty nuts. This scene could be pretty insane, right? Actually, it, it could. Yeah, with the spaceship. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where they're going with this, but if this, like, you know, because they haven't updated, so I hope this, I don't know who this is in the challenge, but I hope they keep going. Like, yeah. It'd be pretty nuts. Yeah. It's pretty, it's ambitious because of the stuff on the right-hand side, so me personally, I probably would ditch the stuff on the right, the building, and, yeah. and probably just focus on, you know, stuff. this stuff, the tanker stuff and everything. I, I think that plays really well. Yeah. Hey, but if, if you want to put something on the right side, I would I'll just put like a another one of these elements right here or something. Uh, yeah, 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 that's what and I think too. More, more percent or something. Yeah, just more like uh, more industrial like tanks and stuff like that. I think would be plenty. I, I mean, I a building. Yeah. I don't think you need that. Yeah, and the only thing addition I would put uh, to this is have it behind the bridge because if it's uh, in front of the bridge, cool. this is going to be way bigger, way way bigger. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. behind the bridge to to compensate for the scale mm, mm. Um, but yeah it's, it's definitely going to be an interesting piece of uh, they develop it develop it the other, the other one that they had too was like pretty sweet concept as well it was like definitely like independence yeah. day yeah yeah like Oof. have the I, I mean, I breaking up yeah, like, I mean, dude, if this thing's just, like, destroying the environment, like, that would be insane. Like, if somehow you just kind of, like, blocked it, like, started, you know, shredding it up, would be super cool. That would be. Oh, that'd be awesome. Okay. Cool. Next. Oh, yeah, this is, like... I, I love this one. This yeah, this guy, guy, these guys, designs are crazy. This guy's getting nuts, man. Like, I don't even, like, the reference images and everything I was, like, so into, like, the, he's, I think, looking at, like, battleships and, like, carriers and, yeah, man, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty dope stuff. I mean, it, it definitely. This is cool. It's really nice shape language, I noticed. When he's designing something. That yeah, I, 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 I think you could have gone with any of these and it probably yeah. would be pretty so I'm really interested to see what he does for the final. I also really like, I mean, may, maybe it's because I can't draw, but I like the idea of like taking one of these back plates and making it look more like a drawing than like some super photo real thing. And so I, th I think he's doing a pretty good job of that. Like there seems to be a lot of kit bashed elements in here. At, like when I zoom in, like it, it's like, dude, I think there's like aircraft carriers like chopped out and broken up and yeah. you know it, it's pretty some pretty sweet stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah, I mean this stuff like awesome. I love this stuff. So nerdy. The the only thing I would uh add to yeah, this is uh this is very dark. So mm -hmm. I would probably yeah. darken just this foreground of the element and let let the cast shadow of this be harsh oh. on the ground. So you yeah. can get that separation a bit more. Yeah, um, it'll be tough. I don't know that with that sunlight that he has now, I don't know if you'll get a hard, hard shadow, but you're definitely going to get at least like a solid, because it's close. Yeah. You're going to get a solid shadow there. And I think that that will be, for me, that'll be really critical because it'll frame your eye to the background, yep. the rest of the stuff. So exactly. I yeah. Um, I, agree. I like the pockets of sunlight in here. Yeah. Uh, it's very strong. Um, yeah, pretty sweet image. This this definitely makes like, me think of Dylan Cole as well. I like it. I think it's like I love how it's like broken apart. Like this front on the top, it seems like it's falling apart a little bit. You yeah. know, uh, I like that too. There might be like I don't know. I'm not always really good at this. I, there might I don't know. Ian, do you feel like there's any perspective issue with that sloping down like that right there? Oh, right in here. No, the foreground element. 
So uh, up, upper, upper right, they're like coming uh, down. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it needs to right be... Right there. Right. Yeah, it feels just a little weird. Like it's fall, like it's slipping, yeah. like falling off, like slipping tilting down. over. Rather than... Instead of like, like, if you were to move that piece, I think that plane would be, that underneath plane would be a little flatter. Yeah. Like towards yeah. us. Yeah, exactly. So, like the So I would, just, I, I would watch the perspective on this one for this foreground element. Exactly, yeah. Uh, but outside of that, it's a gorgeous piece. Yeah, uh, I Super love cool. the detail in here. Oh, I absolutely yeah. adore it. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, Super cool. Yeah, keep keep going, and I hope to see this get finished. Yeah, I hope this one finishes. There's like, like it, oh, it's Ian. I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Ian's done. It's. I I didn't I like, put in that person carrying the nukes or anything. Yeah, I, 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 I almost wish you did. Like, I mean, <laughs> everybody knows how I feel about this house. It's like, we talked about it in the live session. It's like, I, I, it's the most random thing in the world to me. It so is. I love, I love that you picked these guys. I love it. I was just super, going for super color fun. harmony. Something about No, I think it, dude, I think it's really good with like, I mean, obviously with the reds and the strong greens and everything, I think it's really, really awesome. Like, I mean, you got that sunlight dialed in and then bouncing off that guy's helmet. I think it's looking really, it looks really sweet. I just, I just need those nukes right in here, yeah. coming out of a house. You got to find, you got to find those dudes taking something serious out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, I like this stuff. Super fun. Okay. Uh, this one. Oh yeah, this stuff came in today. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I think I, I, either one for me could be really successful. I think probably my favorite is the one on the right. I think is yeah. is really really cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what that thing in the sky is going to be, but it seems like you know if it's going anywhere else, it's going to be pretty badass. I, I love it. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be interesting. Okay, and then. I think that's it. Is it all? I think that's all. It's like a bunch of people entered but haven't posted anything yet. So we'll have to see. Yeah, maybe. We have yeah, four not, days left, it... right? I, I okay. believe so. I think uh, four until days. Monday. Yeah. And Monday's a holiday. Oh, oh God. Yeah. You gotta get on it. Done, done, done. Uh... Gotta get those changes. <laughs> But Nobody's the, sleeping. sleeping. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but overall, everyone's doing a good job. Uh, except for we, I want to see something. Give me something. Um, I mean, for as many people as I have entered it, and be like, dude, just, just do something. Oh, there's <laughs> one. The, Last, they didn't right. publish the cover. I remember. I was looking at uh, that. The beside one that Dean likes. This yeah. one, right? Was it this one? This was from Lazma. Uh, I I think she posted this last night, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this was like fairly recent. Yeah. Um, oh, that's cool. I okay. I like the breakup of that. I think that's interesting. The sure. I'm a big fan of uh, ABA patterns. Uh, it's more in graph design than visual anything else, but. I like that you have like A, B, A, B, A, B of like light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, kind of yeah, playing cool. everywhere. I think that's very uh, clever. Even from left to right, you've got the same uh, pattern. Um, so I, for me, I would say like on this one, like, you know, it's it, these, those are pretty memorable architectural pieces, you know, in, in there. Yeah. Um, you know, so I think like maybe be a little, you know, maybe be a little careful on how they're situated perspective wise, like scale wise, like if you go back, like if you go to the back one, like the windows on this one now with the curtains on the one on the right, especially it's like humongous, right? So like that would come down. So like I, I would just watch that stuff, but conceptually as a sketch, I think it's quite nice. You know, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, this one's really cool too. It's like uh, go back to that. It's almost the most interesting one, I think. 
I, I mean, I have no idea what's going on quite yet, but I think it could be like really, really cool. That, that would be, yeah. Uh... I mean, I think maybe because I, I like kind of the linear shapes of that one. Like it, it's something we've not seen, right? Like everything so far is, is quite organic, you could say. I mean, even though it's industrial, it's still a little bit organic. And this is kind of like super, super linear, like you know, lines, like, you know, you could imagine like this, this thing, you know, extending and becoming some platform and then these things shooting up into the sky and like going all the way to the ground or something, you know, like just yeah. these like really, like these really extreme space ladders or something. I don't know. Like, so I think like they, they have to work out some of the, for me, uh, probably the weakest part of the image is maybe the stuff in the background. And maybe this stuff in the foreground on the 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 kind of top of this piece, I really like the tall, the super tall element. Like yeah. I think like working with that and what that is, and maybe there's one closer here. I think could be yeah. really really amazing. And then maybe there it's going on in the background as well. But right now it's a little hard to tell what the background is. That's all I would say. Yeah. I like it. So this one too, those are like pretty popular, like, uh, you know, brutalist architecture moments. Um, I think they're, it's a little bit out of perspective in this area. So, you know, I would just watch that, you know, like I, the top feels like it could be really cool, but then the bottom feels like it's like maybe just a bad, like building. Um, so it's like, how do you, how do you take that, that stuff and make it really cool? I think is, is more, uh, important. I guess maybe that's why the other one is pretty strong to me. Is this the last hey, one? Last one. Hey. Oh, we were just going over your stuff. Oh yeah, we were just talking about your stuff. I know, but I haven't finished yet. I thought I had two hours more. <laughs> right. Oh no, it's okay. I, mean, I don't think you, anybody had to be finished. I mean, you guys have like four days, three hours, and thirty-nine minutes, and according <laughs> to that clock in the right-hand corner. Oh, wait. I'll, I'll add the things that I'm working on at the moment, though. Otherwise, it just feels like a waste. I don't know if anybody else posted anything yet. So. Only the ones with the likes got something. How is everyone? Have I missed oh. a lot? Just the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> oh, cheers. Uh, I'm just looking for stuff with likes so we can see this feels like a much better version of art station ah. oh yeah um oh so we just went over those last one and then ah this one oh, yeah. oh my god i love this one yeah this one is that is amazing the, i don't think i have like uh very much to say <laughs> like it's, it's pretty uh pretty intense it is pretty really intense uh, perspective on this one's a little bit off uh on the subject uh mm. but i would like to see more of this yellow spill light right here uh mm, yeah it would help make it pop out a little bit um and then the only thing that I feel it's missing with this is from the bottom, you have everything horizontal and then from like up here, everything's vertical. So I'd want to personally see something at the top more that's going horizontal. We can mm -hmm. feel the scale of things, but just something, something horizontal flying ships or wires maybe um, connecting these stuff. And then that might help break up the the language of everything and it would it might tie in these wires with other wires above or some something um, yeah i guess maybe the only other thing i would say is like I, and i don't know like i mean maybe it's just my eye maybe some of the for like the foreground housing stuff needs to come into that color range a, a bit better i don't know maybe it's just me i'm, I'm not sure i don't know what are you thinking Ian? yeah just a tiny bit uh, a tiny bit more, and maybe just a tiny bit more contrast, um, just to like that's, separate a little bit. Yeah, and I think like some of this is like it's not their fault, right? Like that house is a really bright white house there in the yeah. background. 
it could go to be a little darker, I think, you know, like it's, it stands out right now quite a bit um, in comparison to like everything else. So I think like, you know, muting that stuff will help uh, a lot. Any trees like this, like where people are masking trees like this, I think you, you would do yourself a really good favor to try to find some very nice people can message me individually, but like try to find some nice masked out trees and a good trick is to lay them on top of those trees and then scale them. And then, you, you know, people won't notice and it brings back, it gets rid of like all the, the tough masking that went into that too. Yeah. We lose so much. Like, trust me, we do it in architectural visualization all the time and nobody ever notices. Like you just go find a good masked out tree and lay it on top of that. And that image right there on the left hand side will yeah. look, it will look 300 times better. I agree. Yeah. Um, I love this house of what's going on here. I would love to see a little bit more of something like this happening in here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's like a fine balance, right? Like, you know, you don't want to see it happening to all of them because it's like almost like, uh, you know, whatever's going on is like slowly starting to take over and infect the neighborhood. Yeah. But I, th I think you could do like maybe, you know, maybe one or two more. Maybe it's like, just the start of it, but you know, that would be pretty interesting. Exactly. Um, and maybe more people or something just to liven it up a little bit. Um, so we can feel that scale, um, or something. Yeah. I'm okay with like, you know, I, I really like having just the one person up close, but I think you could push some people to the back, right? I guess in that area. Yeah. yeah I think you could have some like ran randos walking around or something, you know? Yeah, I I, I I quite like the emptiness of the right hand side of the image, um, closer to the camera. You know, yeah. so I, I I'm not sure I would particularly do anything else out here. I like the uh, wires running across the road, and so you know I don't know if it needs. I wouldn't particularly put people over there, but maybe yeah. the left hand side of the image could do could have it. Cool. Yeah, super cool. Oh, I've never even seen this one. <laughs> this is cool. It's got like a mm -hmm. World War II yeah, is... dark vibe to it. Um, I I know that kid sitting there. I've seen this cut out. <laughs> it no, looks I've like used... me on a Monday. No, no, no. But I've I've, I've I've used it. So wherever that person's getting that cut out, it's that cut out in like my my work renderings. I don't know where it's at, but I have that kid. The, is that an astronaut suit? I think that is. Oh, that's yeah, dope. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, oh, this one. Cool. I I think like I, I would love to see this one like really like finished and polished, as polished as these back machines, because I think it's super super interesting. It is. I always really like that. Like I think somebody really should like. I mean, I'm always checking contrast with a black and white adjustment like yeah, layer. Yeah, I was just but thinking that. I really, I really like the idea of like somebody doing a black and white image. Like, I think it's pretty awesome. It is. It looks really good. It, it really does. Um, I would just have a I, little bit more atmosphere to some of these just to push the depth. Uh, but I would, I would get rid of the moon. I find my eye keeps going to that. I find it very distracting. Uh, yeah, but overall, There's some, uh, yeah, it's a super grayed out sky that I like really like, you know, and then I would just say that like, you know, wh whoever's doing this piece, like give the foreground as much attention as you did those pieces. Cause it's really rad. I, I agree. Yeah. That's awesome. Just, I love it. Just astronaut. Just, just hanging. Yeah. 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 And just totally looks like me though i feel like i'm seeing myself it's so weird like on, like on a monday like oh, i gotta work i'm gonna i'm literally gonna go post that <laughs> like, as soon as i'm done i'm going in my person library i'm gonna find this is awesome. it fit to you guys like i use that kid someplace before i know it <laughs> awesome quick question Later on, when you finish off with everyone else's, can you go back to mine because I added a few more bits that I've been working on in the last few hours? Yeah. Thank you. 
because I missed the pre uh, the start, so I have no idea what you said. Are you recording it? Yeah. Oh, good. Cool. This one is, I, I saw this one and I, I had no idea this backplate would ever get picked. <laughs> It's like this dollar family, like dollar general store next to like a McDonald's. And I think there was like a weird hotel behind it. Uh, I, I find it fascinating, you know. Um, it, it's it's weird because they're like going with this then like super kind of like high tech architecture, I guess. I don't, I don't even know what to call it. Yeah. So I don't, I mean, what do you think, Ian? It. It's very interesting. Uh, I kind of feel like it's got like a, I want to say 70s or 80s feel to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like it's like, it. like a, like a, like, remember like that Max Headroom guy? Like, is that what the name of it was? Yeah. It has like that kind of like vibe to it. Like if Max Headroom was like a, mm -hmm. a city, like it would be this. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like what the it's like what everybody in the '80s thought the future would look like, <laughs> it, but exactly. that never, but it never looked like that. Mm -hmm. So like I think that like in some way the person like whoever's doing this please should play that up like really hardcore. Mm -hmm. Like put yourself back in 1980 and imagine like what 2020 should have looked like or would have looked like. Exactly. Awesome. It reminds me of like those like like almost it could almost become like this like world fair type images like if you look up old world fair or if you look up like uh flying cars or like old artwork of like what guys thought uh you know uh, you know the future would look like <laughs> yeah literally type that now there's like these really like kind of uh like like Look up like fifties futurist artwork. Try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it has like this vibe, like where it's like super kind of cheesy. You know, it's like it was supposed to be this stuff, and it never turned into this stuff. <laughs> exactly. Oh, so, like, I don't, cool. I, I don't mean that in a bad way. Like this was this was a real a real mm -hmm. thing, you know. And like this this also was like. A very big deal back then and if you look up like old world's fair you know architecture stuff like you know just type in like world's fair yeah yeah and I think this this stuff happened like they they built this stuff special for world's fairs and so i i think like carrying that vibe through this type of image could be something really special and unique mm -hmm. you know it's amazing. Like I, I would love to see. Like wow. it totally, it totally has that. Like oh, we thought the future was gonna be this, but then it wasn't. <laughs> right? It almost looks like this, right? Exactly. Yeah. It, it has like that feeling. Like if you go back to that picture, it has like this, like uh, mm -hmm. like go to that picture and then go back to that image. Or oops. Uh, what what doing? This one. Yeah. So like, there's like this overly like. You know, like this one, I don't want to see like any kind of dirtiness. It's like all about like the super perfected, like what we thought it would look like, but it didn't look like, like hardcore, <laughs> like hardcore utopia. Exactly. It's awesome. But it, but it never turned into that. And it's kind of like I, ironic that like, then there's like a family dollar store in front. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's interesting. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. And you just updated Joyce last week, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I did some 3D uh, idea yeah. start and uh, just tried to think of out of the box because, not gonna lie, sci fi is a real struggle for me. Yeah, yeah. Go, go back to the other one. I mean, I like the. Uh... I like the go back, go back. Oh, uh, where is it at? No, keep going. no, no, no. There's there was a new one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, 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 this. Yeah. Top of yeah, I think, yeah, I think this should be like pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Something like this, like quite nice. I think 
it kind of like looks a little bit like a, you know, like that Paul Rudolph picture that I posted the other night. It's a, a little bit kind of like that. Did you, did it, everybody see that? I think if you go back to like the work in progress chat, Ian. I've been trying to keep up, but see, I have uh, social media and any activities during the day blocked. So I miss a lot of things. Yes. Yeah. Keep going up, Ian. Keep going up. Keep going up. Yeah, keep going. Oh, this one? No, no, no. That's Simon Stallenhog. It's going to be after that. After that. Keep going back. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Yeah, it has like this Paul Rudolph kind of thing. So this was like a project that Paul Rudolph did. Uh, I, I mean, it was for New York, and he was envisioning like the, I think like from Brooklyn to Manhattan and did this whole kind of city where he was like envisioning, you know, something like this. So I, I think mm -hmm. you know, your, your work is quite reminiscent of something like this uh, in a way. So I wonder if it could, yes. you know, start to take on. You know, I wonder if it could start to take on like this, uh, you know, there, there's also a real duality within like, you know, there's super green moments, but then that's super brutalist kind of like concrete architecture and so i mm -hmm. wonder, you know i wonder if you could kind of play play up that in the image that you're showing now you know in, in some way mm -hmm. yeah definitely well, my inspiration was uh soviet union yeah yeah yeah. that's so yeah. that definitely is similar to that reference as well which is quite interesting yeah yeah, yeah. i think uh, yeah you were looking at you know definitely some like soviet era brutalist architecture um, mm. so I think it's about like, how do you, it's like the Lumen, Lumen city or something like that. Uh, I don't know. You have to find it. It's around, <laughs> it's around here or someplace. Uh, there you go. Olmex. Wow. That's amazing. Mm. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Right. I think it was, his, like one of his, like one of his last conceptual, like projects. I, all I'm saying is yours. I, I definitely would play up like this over industrialized, like concrete looking thing and and mm -hmm. what that looks like and that could be really cool okay i'll go for it thank you it's awesome cheers cool cool good uh, it wasn't in the way i think you're spawn keep looking at that like soviet like brutalist architecture look at like you know, Paul Rudolph, like that example that he did. And, mm -hmm. and I, I would definitely push that like kind of aesthetic. I think you would pull. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, you can take a look at this one building that's kind of around my neighborhood. I wrote it in live chat because it's in Polish. <laughs> you can like Google it and, and, and check it out. It's kind of similar. Oh, cool. I'll definitely check it. Thank you. Yeah. It's a nice building. But I think that... Super jednostka. Super jednostka. <laughs> cool. Oh, I saw that one. Yeah, I think we got it all, no? Yeah, I, I think so. Cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think we got it all. Yeah. I was, so. was going to say... Um, I joined quite late. I wasn't sure if uh, you'd already been through one of mine. If I've, I'll, I'll just go over the recording. Which one was it? So as uh, Nathan Birchall with, uh, I just called it from far away, to be honest. It's got some old like tankers and stuff in. It was one of the petrol station ones. It's not letting me scroll. <laughs> I know. I just want to make sure I can scroll because it's not letting me scroll. Okay. Uh, so let's do. There we go. Okay. Which one was it? I can't see it amongst this list. I'll be honest. Uh, did you upload it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you, do you have a link of it? Can you? Uh, I can try and find one. Yeah, wait one sec. If you put the star, it might help to your post. Mm -hmm. 
It's going to be interesting what everyone's final looks like. Okay. Yeah, I'm struggling to get uh, it at the same time on the iPad. Okay. Can they post it in the chat, Ian? Uh, it was one of the first ones in the um, the whips, actually. Uh, can you uh, do a post update, and it will pop up on Discord, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Just do like the the latest update or whatever you've got. Let's see if I can locate that link for you. Um, and I'm just looking for your name on here. Well, I hope everyone's having a good Thursday, even though it feels like it should be. Uh, Dude, it should be Friday. Oh, okay. I think I've got you. Yep. Oh, is this it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, that's up. That's awesome. Yeah, this one's really cool. Uh, in, okay. Is this, is this it? Yeah, I like this one a lot. It's pretty sweet. The, I feel like there's something wrong with the scale of, of this versus the bikes. Uh, like the bike needs to be slightly smaller. Uh, well, I don't know. Like, could probably comparison to that gas pump, the bike is probably right. So those probably want to be bigger. Yeah. Maybe just slightly. Yeah, just a tiny bit, because it, it's messing with me. Um, and then I very much like these. Yeah. Um. The, yeah. These are like super it's, cool. It's missing something though. The I feel like it's it's missing something. It feels like I, I can feel like there's something there, but it also feels very, very empty. Um part of it might be the the sun's right there when the sun's probably way off screen. Um so being that I, I'm currently working with this backplate. I can attest that it, it is a challenging backplate in all the things that Ian is talking about right now is it is massively empty to this this side. Um, for me, how I'm handling it is obviously I'm doing some stuff here, but then obviously I'm actually pulling some 3D stuff into here and then into the background here. Um, not a whole lot. And then I have like, uh, I think I shared Saturday, I have some stuff going on here, some stuff going on here, and then, you know, some more stuff going on here. But it is a very empty back plate in terms of this uh, this front section on the left-hand side. So I don't know, like, how to per se handle that. Like, I mean, maybe it's another vehicle kind of pulling in at that moment, you know, could, could potentially help, I think. Um, I think also do like cropping out some of the the foreground, the dirt is going to help a lot. Yeah, like, you definitely don't need that much at all. Um, I, I like this. I, I like this idea of these sand dunes in the background. I, I personally probably match the dirt to be closer to the dirt color in the foreground. It's just more yes. less red, more orangey, uh, or more yellowy. So I. I like that idea of the sand dunes. I would probably just maybe change the color of them a bit. Exactly, yeah. And bring a little bit more sand on top of here or something. Yeah, um, I mean, there's something really cool about, like, I, it, it's hard because this is a piece that wants to almost be a tad bit empty. It's kind of like this Route 66 sand dune, like, I mean, there's, I don't know if there's sand dunes on Route 66. There might be, but uh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember, but. It's like this, I don't know you, it, or like this kind of Australian back kind of uh, kind of vibe, you know, going on. But I think like, or 
I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just like the sand dune idea, I really, I really like, and I like the kind of barrenness of the sand dunes. It, it just needs like a couple more things to like, you know, bring out. Yeah. yeah. Like you type in like type in like sand dune, like Egyptian sand dunes or like Middle East sand dunes or something like that. And yeah, there's always like it has like this vibe, right? Like where there's like just like one city popped out in the middle of nowhere, like in it. Mm-hmm. But I, you see, you know, something like this is. I really like the direction that it's going in. That's why I, I, I'm trying to like you know kind of, you know, get more from it. Mm-hmm. Like push it just that extra. I don't think it's a lot. It's just one of those things that, you know, with an image being so empty, like how do you how do you at the same time make that really like super rich and, and to the viewer? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Okay, what, what is, you know, I mean, there's like a whole bunch of star Wars art that kind of is around this right out of the most recent star Wars, you know, like, yeah, that is, is probably, I think like super helpful in a way. That's interesting. Yeah. 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 If you type um, in like star Wars tat- tat- Tatooine, Oh, it's it's spelling spelling of it. Yo, dude, don't worry. I can't spell worth crap. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll come up pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's like, it, there's like, you know, that kind of, but more, more, more abandoned. There's like, the, I think in the newer episodes, there's like these shots of like, you know, it's like pretty. Like go to the left, this one right here, HD, like right there, down, down, yeah, there, you know, like this type of thing, right? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, 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 right. Like that, that kind of vibe. I, th- I think you're very, very close, and so yeah. I think it's just about like, uh, you know, okay, how, how do you push, how do you, how do you push this over the edge just a little bit more? It's uh, from looking at it. <clears throat> for for me, I would say with the uh, because of how smooth the sand is, it's mm-hmm. going to be the sharpness and the detail amount in the object itself. Yeah, yeah, so right. So have the smoothness versus um, the harshness of the detail. So I would detail these up more so they're not as smooth as the sand. Have that separation a little bit. Um, and if it, I don't know, if it was me because it's becoming so machine-like, I would almost try to... Um, in a way, start really mecking out the hotel type vibe, you know, like, I think you could still have the eat and everything. But like, I would, you know, I think you could use other if you want to continue to use, I think these are maybe pieces out of the 3d that I provided. But if you want to continue to add that, like use that, just rotate them, chop them up and use them as part of the hotel. So it looks like these things coming out of the sky into the ground. And it's like, completely starts to be this machined type situation not there, there's no more wood like some dude built a wood fence like none of that yeah exactly yeah uh but overall i'm i'm interested to see more of this it's cool yeah i think i, I mean maybe a little bit it, it might be getting a little bit saturated in the colors a little bit you know um yeah. Well, the magenta on the right side is maybe getting a little like tough and the yellow and I'm not sure like the sky maybe wants to be a little bit more yellow if there's going to be so much yellow in the yeah. so maybe just maybe just some overall color correcting I think yeah. would be really, really helpful to bring it all together. Like if you go back to that if you go back to that Star Wars image I mean, this stuff is always so powerful because, like, the 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 palettes of the artists are it's so dialed. Like, you have this red, and then you have like the red ground, and then you have like this, you know, bluey kind of pinky sky. Um, really beautiful. So, oh, that's sweet, actually. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, Sorry, I did this. Actually, actually, in my world, I like this quite a bit. <laughs> I was just thinking. It's like really creepy and I think good. So, oh, that's funny. Um, is that helpful at all? Is there like, do you have any other? Um, I think you're breaking up a bit, but yeah. hopefully, that, 
hopefully that's like kind of helpful. I, I th when I saw this, this is a super rad piece. So I, I hope you will like take the four days to like just crank it up a little bit. I think you could, like I said, crop some of the dirt at the bottom. They bring, you know, in general, start to bring all the colors into the same, you know, More color correct. Um, and that'll be really sweet. And um, I might, the only other thing I might, I would probably add to this is maybe a light or two on these. Because um, you've, you've got the light here and there's nothing like it anywhere else. I mean, you've got that one little dot right there, but I would maybe put something on these as well just to bring the yeah, world together. Cool they all, it could be cool if they all stayed almost like uh, secondary antenna lights, you know? Like there's nothing, yeah. there's nothing like, they're not major. They're they're in the same kind of importance as the eat sign, you know? It's like they're not, you know, which is they're kind of like location beacons more so than they are any other like light source, right? So like the eat sign is a way that like people are like, oh, okay, I, I can go there and do something. Maybe like, you know, not that you're doing something to the rigs, but it, it's more of a location thing than it is, you know, kind of a light source. Yeah. That probably made no sense. No, I, I think yeah. it made sense. Um, just put it a a nerdy place. architecture talk mixed with like rendering. <laughs> It's cool though. I mean, if if you want to paint it in Photoshop, just I I do this all the time. Uh, make a new document. Uh, do 1080 by 1080, and keep the background black, and with a really strong red, and with your brush, make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, does that and. I'll do a few different one of these, and then I'll bring this in a little bit more, and then a little bit more, or something like that. And then like maybe change the, the color a little bit, or something. And that way, now you've got like this little light that you can put anywhere in your scene, and you, it it looks pretty realistic. Gosh, uh, Ian, you work so hard. I like <laughs> red flare. <laughs> oh, I got so tired of trying to cut them out and look for it. That I was like, I'm just gonna make this quick in Photoshop. Screw it. That or I like I use a like no light factory as a plugin for like Photoshop. <laughs> I use that. <laughs> I'm so lazy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. proud of you. There's, there's your light. You know, you're way cooler. Than, you're way cooler than I am. I just, I got so tired of always looking for one that I was like, eh, make it really quick, done. Yeah, I mean, it's like one of those things yeah. you could just save for, you save and then use for the rest of your life too. So that's pretty much what I do with all my work. I've used the same image so many times. It's just like, eh, same thing. No one's going to notice. No one's going to call me out on it, even though I just told the world. <laughs> um, but yeah, something tiny like that here and there might help. Um, but overall, yeah, just bring the colors together more, keep detailing it, and I think you'll be good to go. Um, yeah, totally agree. Uh, yeah. Outside of that, I think that's that's it. Yeah, it's kind of I think that um, brings us here. It's going to be very interesting. I like seeing all the different styles. Um, it's going to be interesting to see uh, uh, the final pieces of everyone's work. Yeah. Uh, does anyone have any last comments, concerns? Do an awkward uh, pause. <laughs> um, or if there's anything you're wondering about Photoshop or about the competition. Um, break things in the background. <laughs> um, yeah, I, th I think that's about it. Um, anything you can think um, of, Jimmy? Or, yeah? 
wondering about realism. I don't think what? I'm just wondering about realism, like is how like important that is in the space do you think? Oh for realism? I, I don't know. For me, this is like really hard. I mean, I think everybody has to decide on their own the direction of their work, right? Like, I think we, I think we've looked at a number of pieces today that you could go in kind of a more kind of painterly style, like, and it doesn't. You could adapt that to the backplate and everything else. And then I think you could, you know, my my work is is to the other realm, right? Like it's pushed all the way to the other side where I'm usually trying to in some way make it even like hyper real, like not like like past mm -hmm. point. So, but I don't think it's like, I, I, I don't know. I mean, you guys are judging each other for this final. So it's not like somebody's going to judge. So like in that sense, it's, it's like community based, which is awesome. And I think for me, like I, I love seeing the variety that I've seen so far. Like that's, I don't think I don't gravitate one to the other. It's okay. it's just preference. Um, I, I think yeah. I think it depends actually. Like uh, from each person, what they want to achieve. Like I'm personally trying to go for like concept art and keyframe yeah. art. Right. So for me, I would pursue that. Some people are mud painters and they want to make it more like realistic. So they're doing like more mud painting. That's what I think. Yeah. Just the, the only thing with it that makes it difficult is if you really want to do something very detailed like this, for example, and to make it very realistic, it's going to take you a lot of time to make it look very realistic. Yeah, 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 right. Like, so that's what I mean. Like this to me is more of a concept art piece than it is, say, kind of the stuff that that I do per se. Which it, and then I think also too, like, you know, there's a certain only so much I think. I, I don't know because people do really realistic stuff by like painting and stuff. But you know, I I'm working with a bunch of 3D, so that you know, allows, I think, for you to push that realism a little bit more. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't say that one is better than the other. I think whatever whatever people are trying to, like, get at and practice, I think that's the style you should aim for. Exactly. Um, Interesting. So... It just really depends on what you like and what you want to be going for and how detailed do you want to go for for your pieces. Um, I mean, I want to do it super realistic, but I am not there yet. <laughs> so I'm just trying to, getting somewhere between, you know? Yeah, yeah. But I think it's different then, too, like, for me, you know? It's like, for me, these are like kind of, you know, one off or, you know, two, two or three, and then I will not you know, ever use that stuff again. And so that's something that I'm going for, you know, to have that in, in it. But I think like there's super val validity in like doing it more in a concept manner. And I really like that. So I think you just have to kind of, you know, do what, what you're looking to get out of it more than anything else. Yeah. Hmm. Do what speaks to your soul. <laughs> BR2 with it. Um, yeah. I, I think that's a, a good place to leave it. Um, I mean, I would say too that, like, I mean, this is happening at such a rate of speed. I'm so impressed. Like, I mean, Ian knows, you know, because we've known each other for a while now, like, A, I'm not very fast, like, or on purpose, uh, you know, because I have to be during my day job, I have to be fast. And I, but my personal stuff, I'm generally pretty slow, deliberate, and, um, you know, but but that's me, and I'm, you know, so I, I'm so impressed about, you know, the work that's coming out and, and how fast these challenges happen. I don't think I'd probably be able to participate. I love what mean, like in, in architecture competitions, you know, there, you know, sometimes a competition is three months long or something like that. You know, it's like that, that feels good to me. <laughs> to like so, place like one thing a day and come back. <laughs> same. Yeah. I, I feel the same way. 
Um, I just I don't like it to be rushed, but eh. It's, but that's, why, that's why it's so impressive to see like this quality and level of work from everybody in this amount of time because i honestly am not sure that i and so maybe it does lend itself more to you know concept design because i i don't think that i could like i being honest like i partially because i maybe i don't want to but also too like man it's just it, it's fast like two weeks that's fast it's like it's like my moving fast it is, yeah. But, um, yeah. And look at that. Four days, three hours, and 55 yeah. seconds. Dun, we dun, wait, dun. We, we wait six hours of your guys' time. <laughs> um, but I, I hope this was helpful for everyone uh, and for those who are going to listen in the near future. Um, and uh yeah good luck on the competition well, thank, you. thank you very much for help yeah yeah, no yeah. thank you so much for our suggestions it's good yeah. i want to go like get right on it right now <laughs> no, yeah me too yeah, like, you know i was talking to ian and conrad about i think it'd be fun to do for all the ch you know not that it would always be me and ian or something like that but you know for all the challenges you know i think it's good to like just look at everybody's work and where you're at and then you know step back and find a way to like you know, with four days left, how, how do you make that final push like that, that last kind of home run, you know, drive to, to get over the finish line? Exactly. Um, it's good. I mean, I think it's good for everybody to get pushed to, you know, to see everybody else's work and to like, you know, talk about it. I think it's a really healthy thing to do. Exactly. Yeah, and the website is helpful. I mean, because I would argue that, like, you know, everything that we've said on all the all everybody's work, like even the people that weren't able to join, that like anybody could pick that up and be applicable to what they're up to as well, which I think exactly. is good. Where is gonna the recording be? Uh, I'm gonna leave that up to Conrad. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I'm after this. I'm. Uh, I'll stop it and I'll send it to him. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. He'll he'll probably put it up on YouTube. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. But don't quote me on that. <laughs> uh, okay. But yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, I don't mean to cut this short, but I have to get back to work. Uh. So I I hope this was helpful for everyone. Um. And. Uh, yeah, let's see where everyone ends up with this stuff. It's going to be fun to see. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Awesome. awesome, guys. Good luck. Cool. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody.